Hey gang, Shannon Scott with Bonaventure Cemetery Journeys out here amongst the beautiful azaleas here in the springtime. All 27 miles of them just going eye-poppingly crazy. But don't have to work too hard with the camera to make this place look beautiful today. <laughs> yeah, you just can't mess that up, right? But uh, exquisite day, and it's just tempting to do nothing but film azaleas. But now and again, we like to talk about some of the specific things out here in Bonaventure. A lot of people see um, these crosses uh, leaning on three pillars, and it, it's there. There are some funerary traditions uh, that are very, um, I guess, sanctified, or you know, there, there are certain rules about them. Let's say so. One in funerary art, you never want to show the cross laying flat on its back. Uh, that would be kind of a sign of irreverence. So yeah, you always want to make it look poised like it's being lifted up and rising or ascending, of course. So yes, you are taking that instrument of death and building into it at the same time the idea of resurrection. Yes, that life continues. And, you know, the three pillars that it's sitting on also key, uh, in a way, because it's uh, kind of evocative of the Trinity. And so, yeah, all of these holy and eternal ideas or things of eternalism built into it. And this could very well be the plot um, or the grave of a, a member of the Odd Fellows or the International Order of Odd Fellows. Um, they were a charitable branch, let's say, of the Masons, and at one time the largest Masonic order in the world, about five million of them in the United States by 1920. And this was a, a stylistic or a stylization of some of their brothers' plots that um, was very popular, uh, let's say, around the late 19th, you know, early, early 20th century. And here we have uh, the grave of John Henry. Uh, looks like, oh boy, I'm not going to be good at pronouncing that. Um, oh, okay, Farrington. All right, it was a little blurry there. Born in Waldeboro, Maine, November 7th, 1863, and died Ponta Corda, Punta Corda, Florida, which I've never heard of. Uh, January 8th, 1909. So yeah, uh, sometimes when they are specifically Odd Fellows graves, here on the base of the cross, you might see three interlocking links, which uh, they are also known as the Three Link Fraternity, but here that is absent, uh, which doesn't necessarily mean they weren't, but doesn't necessarily mean they were either. So yeah, that's just a little discussion of that symbolism in case you were curious. Hope you enjoyed that. Now back to the azaleas.